Today I'll be showcasing you how to make a gouache shipping container similar to these. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to start off with our large forest, kind of similar to our shipping containers. So, place free down. Kind of like this, and then on the other side. Laggy, so much lag. Kind of like this, and now we're going to build up. Two on each end of each of the container, kind of like similar to these. All what I do Now once you got all your posts on each side You can now do the inner part Two studs from this post oh, Not free here, same thing with the outer posts, two on each, on top of each other. Oh, that's a wedge. Right here and right here. Kind of similar to the ones I showed in my last video. Now we're going to be doing our root. Actually, let's do our sides. Grab one of your large glass planes. Whip it so the this little outer part, kind of like this, kind of has well, like one little mini tile out. Do it until you can't do it anymore. So right here, I can't do it right here. And repeat it on this side. And like right here, I can't do it again. Do it on the other side. So once you have all of these in, we're going to grab our glass plane. So now grab your gl glass pane. Put two of them right here. And same on each side. Experiencing lag. Okay. Got two more. You can put it on this side. You don't have to do it in my order, but I always do what I'm doing. Okay. So now we have these little small glass panes. We're just gonna do them for each side of our cargo container. This will be quick too. Hopefully not lag. Rick's 
Maybe C. Same thing on this side. And again, you don't have to do it in my order. I'm just doing by distance. Now we got this whole gap to finish up. Let's just right here. Let me check my graphics real quick. Huh. It's normal down. So I don't lag at all. I should not even be lagging because I do have yeah, FPS on locker. Okay, once you know how this, you, and you can do it here too. I, well, I'm just gonna, no, I'm gonna just put my roof on. So we can see what we're looking at. Looks so far so good right now. Okay, now we got our roof finished. We're just gonna grab our small glass panes. You'll want to fill in where we had the two stud gap. I'm just gonna fill in fill these up with that. Kinda like so. I'll turn my graphics back up. Two more. Now we have our glass panes and wood around. Kind will be kind of like these. And I did I did fill these with secret paintings. So if you're wondering what last video was, I did fill this. I did not fill it up with this stuff. I don't know why I'm gonna put that, and I might put that on top. But yeah. Well, we're let me turn my graphics back up. So there's no reflection. Alright, we're going to grab our 1x4 wedge. We're just going to put one right there. And then some, same thing on the other side. Okay. Now you can do this either way. You can have it doorknob kind of like this. Or I kind of like it that way and you can put any car in I did try this earlier you cannot use these cars or you can try using these cars but you would have to take this off this off um, and then add in a little more ramp on each side like a like a more like a skinny wedge but I would just for now I will for me I'm just gonna put like snowmobiles in. So I like my snowmobiles. Uh, or you could put this in. You're able to bargain. Which fits also. Let me see if I can can I oh that'll work. But yeah, it can put anything. It's just basically this but gloss version which looks cool and the option that i put in here just for now we will be taking these out if you really want to or not i just put an option because i don't i uh no one responded back to my thoughts on which one i should do for the video in which i just Grab these out right here. Just put anywhere for now. But if you don't like this, yeah. 
uh, grab your courier wall or get blueprint for it and go in. Do it like what this has. Um, go in right here, go like that. And then I should have another one. Let's see. Yep, right here. Just fill in like this. You can also have it like this. Or the glass one. Either one. But. Fargo container. Like that on the other side. But glass on the other side. You can use these for items. You can use these for vehicles. Either one don't care uh, I just like showing you guys how to make these cool designs everything and yeah well we're done with the design and hopefully you guys like this design plus you can it's kind of like a little mini garage you can just drive cars out of course you can just store them store items either one doesn't really matter I don't know, you can store your gift if you want. Boom, right there. Um, or your magical ball. Which I don't know the number that is. Or not even aware. <laughs> Rare. So. Yeah. Real logic. I'm just putting random stuff in here. Well, yeah, that's basically for how to build it. And again, if you have any troubles, go back through um, and see wh what I did. Hopefully that is much better. And again, you um, go back, watch my latest video on how to make the actual wooden ones. Well, ones are pretty nice, but if you had like a glass version of it, it's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully the glass one works or not. Either one, you can design it wherever you want. Um, you guys add shelves and everything. But the wooden ones are pretty nice too. You can customize with those too. But I think I like the glass more. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I upload every week and hopefully I stay on schedule crazy one um but yeah uh comment like subscribe do whatever everyone does um i won't i won't care if you do it but smash that subscribe button please but our goal is 100 i'll actually go chop down a tree this time okay all right bye everyone